Welcome to the Golf Carts 101 video series featuring the Majax X series, taking you through all the essentials in utilizing your new golf cart. In this video, we are going to focus on how to charge your cart powered by lead acid batteries. But before we start charging the batteries, let's run through some key items on how and when to properly charge your cart. In order to ensure the safety of the batteries and guarantee battery life, please only use the charger which is provided or recommended by the supplier to charge the batteries. We recommend charging your batteries after every use. Please do not drive the golf cart until it dies, as undercharging will impact battery life. A best practice is charging your cart overnight after you are done using your cart. Low battery power will affect the use of the batteries, especially in a low temperature environment, so timely charging is best for the battery's life. Use the state of charge meter during operation, as the indicator light will only turn on when your batteries are charging. When you get a low battery reminder, it is best to look for the nearest outlet and recharge the batteries to ensure they do not die. You should never charge your lead acid batteries in an enclosed space. Please charge your golf cart in your driveway or leave your garage door open. If an extension cord is needed, make sure it is 14 gauge wire and is not over 20 feet in length. Avoid locations where direct freezing temperatures are expected and avoid direct heat exposures such as radiators. It is recommended to stop charging if there is extreme weather such as thunderstorms. It is also recommended to let the batteries fully charge. Do not pull out the socket during the charging process and never under any circumstances start your cart while it is charging or plugged into the socket. At least once a month before you actually charge the batteries, a couple things should be checked. Wear safety glasses and gloves when performing any maintenance. Check to ensure that all the connections are tight and that the water level in each cell is at least covering the top of the plate. Do not fill the batteries completely before charging. The water levels will rise slightly during the charge, so filling above the plates can cause leaks or damage. To charge your batteries, plug the wall end of the provided charge cord into a 120 volt outlet. A red light will illuminate on the cart side of the cable. This is normal and indicates that the cord is ready to begin charging. Now, plug the cart end into the charge receptacle on the cart. You will notice a green flashing light next to the charge indicator. This is also normal. It indicates the charger is charging the batteries. Upon completion of the charge, the indicator will go to a solid green light. After charging is complete, check the water levels and fill to the manufacturer's specification. Note that every battery manufacturer's specifications are different. Some batteries may have a max fill line marked in the neck. Note that it is very important not to overfill the batteries. Doing so can lead to leaks, battery damage, or even a battery explosion. Thanks for watching and keep an eye out for more Golf Cart 101 videos.